I'll start the recording and <laughs> get you all there. So a huge, huge welcome to one and all to celebrate Jude's birthday. This is a very special breeding optimization class, which is entirely designed around what Jude wants to do. So lucky for you, it's all really nice and relaxing and chilled. There's going to be a very much more challenging breathing class for somebody else's birthday next, next month, but this one is for Jude. And so um, I just want to say, for those of you who haven't done my classes before, hey, here comes Mark, excellent. Um, they're based on a programme I started uh, over 10 years ago, working first of all with Olympic athletes and then working with para-Olympic athletes. And my programme was a mix of yoga, botaco and freediving techniques designed to help people breathe better and improve their performance. So I had a huge amount of success with the first Olympians and then the Paralympians I worked with across two, uh, two and a half Olympic cycles, which was really, really fantastic. And so now I teach my breathing optimization classes, which is a mix of all of these exercises. Every class is different. So we're now on, this is class 110 of my breathing classes since the first lockdown. So within a year, we've done 110 classes. So it's every Tuesday, every Thursday, once a month, we do an MDR class, which stands for mammalian dive reflex. And once a month, we do a one hour breathing class. And if people can't make the classes, then you can get the recording. So I've been doing that um, since the start of lockdown, but the program actually has been running for over 10 years now. Um, so what we're gonna do is, this is going to be really nice and gentle. We're gonna do a whole series of exercises, but we're gonna start on your back. So if you can get so you're comfortable, lying on your back and I would encourage you to bend your legs, bring the knees up and just knock the knees together. Just let someone else in. Knock the knees together and you can have your hands, actually to begin with, I would place one hand on your tummy and one hand on your upper chest and then just close the eyes. And we're gonna start by taking a really long, slow breath in through the nose and then breathe out through the mouth. Another long, slow breath in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. One more long, slow breath in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Now close your mouth and bring your breathing to very soft and gentle abdominal breaths. So what you want to do is to just feel your hand, so the hand that's on your tummy, on your lower abdomen, just feel that gently rising and falling. And the hand on your upper chest shouldn't be moving. So think of this as the kind of breathing you do when you're in bed and you're falling asleep. So just focus on really gentle, soft breathing. And you want to try and get your body to breathe for you. So you don't want to actually put any mental input in. So bring your mind instead to your mouth and just feel your tongue heavy in your mouth. Feel your lower jaw relaxed. Feel all the muscles of your face relaxed. And with every soft and gentle exhalation, just feel your body becoming heavier and heavier. With every soft and gentle exhalation, just imagine your body melting down into the floor or whatever surface you're lying on. And you might notice there's a soft and a little pause at the end of your exhalation. So don't worry if there isn't one, but you might notice there's naturally a pause, a moment of stillness at the end of each exhalation. So 
So with the hand that's on your upper chest, just move it um, to the top of your ribs. So move it to the side of the body. So sorry, the bottom of the ribs. So the side of the body underneath your chest and the other hand on your lower abdomen. And I just want you to start breathing a little bit more air in, but see if you can only move the lower hand. So as you breathe in, imagine your tummy expanding upwards towards the ceiling. And then as you breathe out, it gently draws back towards the spine. So just see if you can activate what we call belly breathing or abdominal breathing so that your belly moves up and down as you breathe in and out, but the ribs stay still. And we call this belly breathing not because we are breathing literally into our belly, but that when we breathe diaphragmatically, the diaphragm is this large dome-shaped muscle separating off the chest and the abdominal cavity. And when we breathe in, the diaphragm flattens down. And it's this movement of flattening the diaphragm down that causes the tummy to move out. So we're going to work now on the three-part breath. So the three parts are the belly, this lower abdominal breathing that you've been doing then the chest, so this is where the ribs expand, and then finally a really small amount up near the collarbones. So it's belly, ribs, and upper chest. So first of all, keeping the hands where they are, breathe deep into the belly only. So expand your belly, getting as much air into your belly as you can, and then exhale, draw the tummy back towards the spine, squeeze the tummy muscles, exhale more air than you would normally do. Again, breathing deep into the belly, expanding it like a balloon up towards the ceiling and then exhale draw the tummy muscles in squeeze the tummy back towards the spine one more breathing deep into the belly expanding the belly only up and then exhale bring the tummy back towards the spine squeeze the tummy muscles exhale more air than normal now breathe first of all deep into the belly now expand the ribs, expand the ribs, the front, the side, the back. And then exhale, the ribs come back down, the tummy comes in, squeezing out more air than normal. Again, breathing deep into the belly, up into the ribs. And then exhaling, the ribs come in, the tummy comes in, squeezing out more air. One more, breathing deep into the belly, up into the ribs, and then exhaling. Ribs come in, tummy comes in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now the full three-part breath, breathing deep into the belly, up into the ribs, into the upper chest, filling the lungs, and then exhale, the chest will come down, the ribs will come in, tummy back towards the spine, squeeze out more air than normal. Again, breathing deep into the belly, up into the ribs, into the upper chest, filling the lungs, and then exhaling, ribs come in, chest comes down, tummy comes in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. One more, breathing deep into the belly, into the ribs, into the upper chest, filling the lungs, and then exhaling. And now you can keep the hands where they are or you can bring them by your side, whatever is comfortable for you. And we're going to move straight into an exercise called, so that I call stepped breathing. So you're going to be doing exactly what we've been doing now, that full three part breath in and out through the nose, but you're going to be dividing it into sections. So you're going to be breathing in and then pausing, in, pause, in, pause, in, pause. And you choose how many pauses you want to put in, but you want to completely fill the lungs. And then on the way down, as you exhale, exhale, pause, exhale, pause, exhale, pause. And you keep going until you have completely emptied the lungs. So at your own pace, putting in as many pauses as you wish, start to do the stepped breathing. So it's breathing in and out through the nose, a complete breath in, as much air as you could possibly fill in your lungs, and then a complete and full exhalation, but you're stepping it. So it's inhale, pause, inhale, pause, 
inhale, pause, and you keep going, putting as many steps in as you feel comfortable doing. And then exhale, pause, exhale, pause, exhale, pause, and do the same on the exhalation. Try and keep the lower jaw relaxed and your tongue heavy in your mouth. And try and make each section of breath and each pause exactly the same duration as the last. And you might find that at the end of the inhalation, when you're dealing with a huge amount of positive pressure in your lungs, and at the end of the exhalation, when you're dealing with a lot of negative pressure in the lungs, it can be difficult to control the amount of air that you breathe in and out. But just try and pay particular attention to these moments to keep the breath as even as possible. As you inhale, pause, inhale, pause, Inhale, pause, and the same on the exhalation. Breathing completely in and completely out with as many steps as you feel comfortable doing. And at the end of your next exhalation, just bring the breathing back to very soft and gentle abdominal breaths. Again, checking that your lower jaw is relaxed. Your tongue is heavy in your mouth. The whole of your body is completely relaxed. And again, just feel with every soft and gentle exhalation that your body becomes heavier and heavier. With every soft and gentle exhalation, your body becomes more and more relaxed. So now I want you to roll over onto your right side and bring yourself up into a comfortable seated position. So you don't have to sit on the floor. You can sit on the edge of a chair. You can sit on a ball. I sit on a block like that. So you can sit on a pile of books if you want, but just sit so that you are comfortable and your spine is straight. So we're just gonna do some very simple upper body stretches just to get ourselves happy in this seated position. So interlock your hands in front of you, press the palms away, keep the shoulders moving down, Take a really big breath in and bring the arms up over your head. Then exhale, bringing the arms down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. One more, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Now interlock the hands to the palm space in towards the body. Inhale, push away. Breathe into the back of the shoulders and exhale and release. Inhale, pushing away, breathing into the back of the shoulders. Exhale and release. One more. Inhaling away, breathing into the back of the shoulders. Exhale and release. Now interlock the hands behind the back so the palms face into the body. Inhale, push the hands away, breathe into the front of the chest and exhale and release. Inhale, pushing away, breathing into the front of the chest. Exhale and release. One more. Inhaling, pushing away, breathing into the front of the chest. 
exhale and release and just roll your shoulders back. And then I want you to twist round to look over one shoulder. So pulling yourself round and every inhale, lift up in the spine and every exhale, just visualize yourself twisting a little bit further round. Every inhale, lifting up. Every exhale, twisting round. Now a really big breath in. Exhale, back round to centre and over to the other side. So same thing on this side. Inhaling, lifting up in the spine. Exhale, twisting round. Now a really big breath in. Exhale, back round to centre, hands to the knees. Inhale, front of the chest forward, arch the back, look up, open the mouth. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, forwards and up. Exhale, round and down. Inhale, forwards and up. Exhale, round and down. Inhale, forwards and up. And exhale down. Fabulous. I forgot to also say, I presume that you all knew that I was Emma, but I forgot to say at the beginning, hello, I'm Emma. So there we go. Three, <laughs> halfway through the class, I remembered my own name. So we're going to do an exercise called battlement breathing now, which some of you might know as also it's called box breathing. So I call it battlement breathing because we're going to be breathing in, holding, out, holding. And so it just continues like that. So we're going to start by breathing in for four, hold for four, out for four, hold for four. And you don't have to breathe a massive amount of air in. This is more of a relaxation exercise tonight, not something that's, that's I want to be particularly challenging. So sit so your spine is straight, comfortably straight and close the eyes. So we'll start always breathing in and out through the nose. In four, hold four, out four, hold four. Okay, breathing in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, Breathe out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four and hold, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four and hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four and hold, two, three, four, now to six, in, two, three, four, five, six and hold, two, three, four, five, six, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, breathe in, two, three, four, five, 
six and hold two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six and hold two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in two, three, four, five, six and hold two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six and hold two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in two, three, four, five, six and hold two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six and hold two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in two, three, four, five, six and hold two, three, four, five, six. Breathe out two, three, four, five, six and hold two, three, four, five, six. And then bring your breathing back to soft and gentle breaths. And we're going to move straight into alternate nostril breathing. So your left hand can rest on the left knee or come up to support the right elbow. The right hand either just alternates with the thumb on the right nostril and the other fingers on the left, or you can tuck the first and the middle finger in like so and alternate like that. So bringing your right hand up in front of your face, closing the eyes. With the thumb, close off the right nostril, inhale through the left. One, two, three, four, and hold the breath, close both nostrils. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, two, three, four, retain. So try and use the whole of the count for the inhale and the exhale. Exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, left, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, left, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, left, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, left, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, left, two, three, four, retain.
Exhale, right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right. Two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, left. Two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right. Two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, left, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, right, two, three, four, retain, last retention. Exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the hand away. Bring your breathing back to soft, gentle breaths. Try and keep the eyes closed and come to lie on your back again. And you can lie with the legs bent or you can lie with the legs out in front of you. So settling yourself. And we're going to be doing connected breathing. Connected breathing is breathing in and out for the same count. So through the nose again, we're gonna start by breathing in for four and out for four and a few rounds of that. So settling yourself, checking your lower jaw is relaxed, your tongue heavy in your mouth. And so we'll begin. Breathing in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, now to six. In, two, three, four, five, six, and out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, and out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, and out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, and out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, and out. Two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, and out. Two, three, four, five, six. And now bring your breathing back to soft, gentle breaths. Keep your eyes closed. Again, feel with every soft and gentle exhalation that your body becomes heavier and heavier. With every soft and gentle exhalation, your body becomes more and more relaxed. So feel your body melting down into the floor, getting softer and softer, heavier and heavier. And we're just gonna finish by doing a brief visualization. So we're going to imagine that we're putting stars, so little points of light, different places of your body. 
and we're going to start with the very top of the head. So imagine placing a star at the very top of your head. And each time I mention a different part of your body, place a star there and keep it there until your whole body becomes a constellation of stars. So you've got a star at the crown of your head. Now placing a star at the center between your eyebrows. Placing a star at the base of your throat. Placing a star on your right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, and the tip of the right thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. Placing a star back up the right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder, and the base of the throat. Placing a star on your left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, and the tip of the left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. Placing a star back up the left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder, and the base of the throat. Placing a star at the center of your chest. Placing a star above your belly button and placing a star on your pubic bone. Placing a star on your right hip, right knee, right ankle, and the tip of the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and little toe. Placing a star back up the right ankle, right knee, right hip, and on the pubic bone. Placing a star on your left hip, left knee, left ankle, and the tip of the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and little toe. Placing a star back up the left ankle, left knee, left hip, and on the pubic bone. Placing a star at the base of your spine, on the pubic bone, above the navel, in the center of your chest, the base of your throat, the center between your eyebrows and the top of your head. See all the stars on your body at the same time and see them getting brighter and brighter, bigger and bigger until they start to fill every part of your body. Feel every part of your body filled with light. Every cell of your body filled with light. And the light inside your body is so big and so bright that it expands beyond the confines of your skin out into the room, out into the world. See your body as a beacon of light. Your body is a beacon of light shining out into the universe. Now bring your awareness back into the room where you are, back into your body. Maybe taking a slightly fuller, deeper breath in. Maybe moving the fingers and the toes, gently waking up the body. 
And when you feel ready, you can just gently roll yourself over onto your right side and come up into a comfortable seated position. Well done, everyone. Fantastic. So that was Jude's birthday breathing optimization class. And I'll just go through um, everything that you did this evening. So we started off, thank goodness this isn't on the recording with me singing, well, all of us singing happy birthday, but unfortunately due to Zoom, you probably just heard me singing happy birthday to Jude. But then you started on your backs and we did three breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Then we focused on gentle abdominal breathing and then we worked it in with the three part breath, so belly, ribs, upper chest. We then moved to doing stepped breathing, a complete breath in and a complete breath out through the nose, but putting pauses in. So in pause, in pause, in pause, all the way to the top of the inhale and same on the exhale. Then we came up to seated and we did some upper body stretches. We then moved to battlement breathing, so in, hold, out, hold. So we started by doing that to four. So in four, hold four, out four, hold four. You did eight rounds of that. And then in six, hold six, out six, hold six, six rounds of that. We then moved to alternate nostril breathing. And we did four rounds of the ratio one, two, two. So in four, hold eight, out eight. In four, hold eight, out eight. And then four rounds of the ratio one, three, two. So in four, hold 12, out eight. In four, hold 12, out eight. Then we got you on your back again and we did connected breathing. So we did four rounds of in four, out four, six rounds of in six, out six. Then we went to gentle abdominal breaths. And then I did a yoga nidra rotation of is um, the one I did tonight was called a Mama Point Rotation of Consciousness. Um, and yes, so there you have it. Well done. We managed to fit quite a lot into 35 minutes. Um, so if you want to, I'm going to stop recording now, but if you want to dash off and have your dinner or do anything, then please feel free. You don't have to stay around if you don't want to or you've got other things to do. But if you want to stay around and let me know how you got on, then that would be lovely. And if you're watching this on the recording, please send me an email.